Please take your seat. Please take your seat. because you all have your mics here. So is this on? Is this on now? Okay. And I also sit to speak because I don't speak just for myself as an individual, but all the esteemed dignitaries here sharing the dais with me, Dr. Seema Malik, God bless you. Incredible vision, incredible heart, incredible commitment, you and your entire team, Dilasa has been a revelation to me and hopefully through this platform today and with the help of the media, please help shed more light, inform all your viewers, all your readers a lot more about the wonderful, committed, sincere efforts of Dilasa who are actually here working towards empowering the women of our society, helping them, being their mothers, their sisters. And, you know, Women's Day is not just the 8th of March. 8th of March is the opportunity for us to sit here, draw attention through some members, like all of us sitting here and me included. We get the opportunity to draw attention to such vital issues, socially troubling, um, weakening, uh, making life so uh, much more challenging for our women in, in society, not just in India, but all over the world. But a date like this on our calendar gives us the opportunity to tell you all that we need action. We need attention. We need action, we need more than words, we need effective work that can help give more power to the word empowerment when we use it so liberally 
where the women of our society are concerned. So every day is Women's Day. Every day is a very important day in each one of our lives. But we need to be there for each other and speak up for each other. And Dr. Seema, with, with work like your organization, with commendable work, that is a constant endeavor with the UN AIDS, with the UN body that I am so grateful to have had the opportunity to continue working with uh, right until this very moment and so on forth. Um, Mr. Osama Tawil, Dr. Louise, thank you so much for coming to India today and coming to Mumbai and sharing this experience with us um, with such a, a perseverant <laughs> nudge and push by me. Thank you, Tina, for making it happen because I really thought it was important for you all to, to come here to see for yourselves what's really happening in our country. And um, as you all rightly say, for effective work to be done here in India as well, it reflects on the continual efforts of the UNAIDS globally. And if we get such an opportunity to share with our friends here, members of the media, and through you with the people out there, the constant effort that Dr. Suburaj, Dr. Mahendra Vadiwala, Dr. Naresh Goel, and so many wonderful soldiers of the mission that work um, tirelessly, that work sincerely, but very often um, these efforts do not get the attention because it may not be the most, um, what do you say, the breaking news of the day. <laughs> So I think it's important on days such as today, events such as this, that we have the opportunity to draw attention to the work that's going on, that through you we educate women and men socially about the access to what we um, abbreviate to PM, uh, PMTCT, but it's basically prevention of mother to child transfer of HIV, there is access, there is medication, use the aid, use the help, use the information, um, go to the hospitals, get yourself tested when you're pregnant. When you're pregnant, you have to test your body, if you have HIV or not, then you can use your mother and Sahayata ka upyo kar sakenge, Sahayata hai. Doctors can do your help, but first of all, you test to do this And maybe people understand that if they do this test, they have to pay for more fees. But this test is free, free. There is no money for it. So this is what I want to tell you today, because I know that many people are saying that they are saying that because every हर टेस्ट पर अब अब अपने आप के बारे में सोचने से पहले सबको अपनी आर्थिक स्थिति के बारे में पहले सोचना पड़ता है हमारे देश में ये बहुत ही दुख की बात है लेकिन ये एक सच्चाई है और इस डर से लोग शायद सारे टेस्ट्स पर गौर नहीं करते लेकिन ये जो टेस्ट है ये जो एचआईवी टेस्ट है अगर आप गर्भवती हैं मैं फिर से कह रही हूं उसके लिए कोई ज्यादा पैसा नहीं भरना पड़ता है उसका कोई फीस नहीं है ये मुफ्त में आप लोग उपयोग कर सकते हैं तो प्लीज ये आप टेस्ट जरूर करवाइए क्योंकि भगवान ना करे आपको एचआईवी है तो आप अप, आपके बच्चे को और अपने आप को भी आज काफी हद तक सुरक्षित रख सकते हैं ये जो मेडिसिन में आ, आ, दवाई में और भी इम्प्रूवमेंट हो गई हैं अब इट्स कॉल्ड मल्टी ड्रग रेजीम यानी कि इसके लिए एक जो सिंपल भाषा में मैं इतना ही समझा सकती हूँ कि पहले जो एक दवाई आप लोगों को मिलता था उसका तीन गुना फायदा हुआ है और तीन गुना दवाई से अगर आप जिंदगी भर इसका उपयोग करेंगे तो आपके लिए और आपके बच्चे के लिए ये बहुत ही फायदेमंद है and मैं भी आज यहाँ आके इतना कुछ सीख गई हूँ कि अगर आप सभी थोड़ा वक्त 
अपने डॉक्टरों के साथ बिताएंगे तो आपको काफ़ी इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल सकती है और मैं मानती हूँ इन्फॉर्मेशन से ज़्यादा इन्फॉर्मेशन ही आपको सबसे ज़्यादा हौसला शक्ति और कॉन्फिडेंस दे सकता है कि आप जो भी चैलेंजेस फेस कर रहे हैं उसे आप हिम्मत से आ, बिना भय के आप आगे हौसला रख सकते हैं और आपको एक रास्ता मिलेगा कि आप किस ओर आपकी ज़िंदगी कैसे जी सकते हैं तो दिस इज़ नॉट जस्ट फॉर पी एम टी सी टी एंड लाइक टू से दिस ऑल्सो इन सपोर्ट ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइक दिलासा इट्स बिन सच अ रेवल्यूशन आई इंटरेक्टेड विद द वमेन हु हैव बीन हेल्प टू हैव बीन गाइडेड सपोर्टेड बाई दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन and uh, just to see the the positive effect it has had on their lives the way it has strengthened these women's confidence bas ye aaj mere liye in auraton se milna in ladkiyon se milna aur samajhna ki zindagi mein kitne challenges rehte hain lekin agar ek koi farishta mil jaye aur भारत में हम यही मानते हैं शायद दुनिया भर में भी इंसान यही मानता है जब जब हौसला टूट जाता है तो जो ज़िंदगी में सहारा दे हम उनको फरिश्ता ही मानते हैं और मैं ये कहूँगी कि दिलासा के जो सभी लोग साथ में काम करते हैं आपके साथ आई कॉल दम योर सोल्जर्स आई कंटिन्यू कॉलिंग दम योर एंजल्स एंड योर सोल्जर्स बहुत ही नेक काम कर रहे हैं और मैंने आज सुना कि गवर्नमेंट चाहता है कि ऐसे कम से कम 11 और सेंटर्स बने लेकिन इस चाहत को सच्चाई के रूप में हम देखना चाहते हैं और इसके लिए मैं मीडिया की सहायता मांगती हूं कि हम इसकी आवाज़ को और शक्ति दें इस, इसे और हौसला दें कि ये सिर्फ 11 पर ना रुके पर ऐसे और कई सेंटर्स रहें क्योंकि औरतों से आज मैंने खुद सुना जब ऐसे सेंटर्स अस्पताल में हैं तो उन्हें और हौसला मिलता है कि जाके इन डॉक्टरों से मिले और बात करें तो मैं उम्मीद रखती हूँ कि ये भारत देश में जितने भी अस्पताल में हों तो ऐसा एक सेल ज़रूर रहे क्योंकि वेमेन गेट द कॉन्फिडेंस टू गो टू दिस सेल एंड दैट्स वॉट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट we need to give everybody that kind of social assurance and support so keep the endeavor going keep your uh, conviction you have seen how much change your efforts have already brought about god bless you all and um, we as the unaids body will definitely do all that we can to support i individually will be here to help raise awareness like i told you we should have pamphlets that we can have distributed everywhere even socially to make people aware that there is a cell like the nasa i mean i didn't know about it until i decided to come here today and thank you so much for even um increasing my knowledge and awareness of of such angelic work that is socially happening and with you all we can make only that much more possible god bless I can go on and on but I have to stop. that's where Wait. i'll still speak now when you say you only want photographs the greatest irony for me is to be sitting here smiling <laughs> because i guess that's a photograph or probably some really weird expressions might be featured but um you know to come out of hearing such serious information um the greatest challenge is for me to sit here smiling but what makes me smile is the success story 
of the efforts of the community here. And um, I guess I take strength from that and give you what you want. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. After the question, I could not do but follow Ashwari on her ball. From a global perspective, how and where I live, the way that I see the world. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. पॉइंट नहीं है काफी है और एक ही पॉइंट पे बात करना बहुत ही मुश्किल होगा हाँ आपने जो कहा ये सही है कि because I was in fact firstly I want to apologize to all of you that you all had to wait a little longer because I was interacting with a lot of ladies and girls and women who had come here to meet me and it was important to spend individual time it just naturally happens to me that's what I said I said I just ended up I guess overextending the scheduled time but it was a time um, which was well invested at least I can say so myself because I came away um, informed with a lot of uh, realities that um, our women continue to live with I mean I'm, a, I'm aware of it our papers are um, all uh, me media of information have always um, kept us aware of the goings on in our country and uh, tr truly and you know it, you all report it on a regular basis. Um, unfortunately, there is a lot of sadness, there is a lot of negative uh, experiences that um, women and I'm sure men as well or boys and girls experience socially. Um, always disturbing when you get to hear the um, actually uh, the detailed accounts of it how so many women at different points in time have felt let down um, by members of their family, by society, by friends, however much we discuss and um, that's why sometimes we, we shy away from speeches and glorious words uh, which, which can sound a lot more strengthening than necessarily the reality of what's going on. But um, the truth is that Unfortunately, while a lot of these women share their stories of feeling highly let down by society, a lot of areas where they turned for help, which officially promises for uh, effective change, but they probably were there at the wrong day, at the wrong time, met the wrong individual, because we have to remember that individuals run the different wings of um, our government and social, um, uh, whether it's our police department, whether it's our uh, governments, whether it's our legal departments, these are individuals. And I don't think it's fair to generalize and judge the system at large because of the, uh, the lapses by certain individuals in these areas. But that is where um, the strength of NGOs the strength of um, medical org organizations like the one we're sitting in and so many more nationally, the strength and support of organizations like the United Nations or the UNAIDS comes into effective action. Why? That's why we exist. That's why we exist to be able to aid, help and guide uh, people who have felt let down by the system or let down by what may have seemed like a promising solution but did, they were not helped at that particular door. And that is why we constantly encourage the existence of all such organizations that can help um, give direction to those who have been let down. That is why we use the opportunity of sitting in front of you to let people know that we are here, that we exist, in the event that you meet with a closed door. Having said that, it's important not to lose faith in the system because the system is something we are going to be living with. And there are 
equally committed and promising individuals working within that system as well. And we hope to be able to cross paths with them, probably with the help of organizations such as these who can guide you to the motivated and the committed to help you find a solution to your problems. And it's very gratifying for me to have met 15 women in Dilasa today and over 10 women at the PMTCT counter to know that they definitely have acquired and been accessed the aid. They have been given a new lease of life. And it was this number because that's all that was allowed and that too already caused delays with me meeting you. But there's immense work going on and that's very gratifying to know. Thank you. हर औरत अपनी माँ का ही एग्जाम्पल दे देते हैं और देते रहेंगे, because it's and I'm I'm blessed to have my mother for my mother. Thank you so much. Any other? Oh no, nothing. Give this mic. There are a few tasks ahead. If you want to move, be seated. Please be seated once the uh, people of the table leave. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you for giving Please. this the time on your channels and in your news prints. Thank you. Now to hair. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 